Hello everyone. After several leaks and rumors, the Moto Z2 Play has finally launched. This device runs on Android Nougat 7.1.1 and just like its predecessor has a 5.5 inch Full HD display and that is of Super AMOLED variety. It has the dated Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection on top and has a pixel density of approximately 401 pixels per inch. The smartphone sees a minor upgrade in the processor department. No, you are not seeing the Snapdragon 660 or the 630. However, you see a 2.2 GHz Snapdragon 626 octa-core processor paired with two bundle options, one with 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage and the other one with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. There's also a micro SD card slot for further expansion of storage up to 2 TB. It also has a 3.5 mm headphone jack, so that's nice, and a USB Type-C port. As for the price, the smartphone is priced at $499, that is approximately 32,000 rupees and will be available unlocked in the US where it will go sometime in sale in the summer. There's no word on India launch yet, though with the Moto event scheduled next week it is possible we will see the Moto Z2 Play make an appearance, appearance there. Coming to the camera, the Moto Z2 Play supports a 12 megapixel rear facing camera with a 1.4 micron pixel sensor, an aperture of f by 1.17, an aperture of f by 1.7 and a dual LED flash as well as laser and dual autofocus lens. Moving on, it also has a 5 megapixel selfie camera with a f2.2 aperture wide angle lens and a dual LED CCD flash. That's nice to see. But as rumored, the smartphone packs a 3000 mAh battery, a major downgrade from 3510 mAh battery seen on its predecessor, the Moto Z2 Play. But Lenovo claims and promises that the more efficient chipset will compensate for the loss. Well, I ain't believing Lenovo. These are just like their promises of giving fast Android upgrades and still many promised handsets have not seen Nougat update yet. Well, I think, what is my opinion? I think the thing that differentiated the Moto Z Play and made it a success was the fact that it had an amazing battery in a world full of mid-range handsets and flagships having a mediocre or average battery. And I think downgrading the battery capacity will hit them. Though the smartphone comes included with a turbo charger that provides 50% charge in just 30 minutes and the battery is rated to deliver up to 30 hours of mixed usage. Connectivity options on the Moto Z2 Play include 4G LTE, VoLTE, Wi-Fi obviously, Bluetooth 4.2, USB Type-C of 3.1 grade, NFC, FM radio, GPS, HGPS and the sensors are accelerometer, ambient light sensor, gyroscope, magnetometer and proximity sensor. The smartphone weighs in at 145 grams and measures 156 into 76 into 6 millimeters. That's right, it's just 6 millimeters in thickness. Well, now we see where the thickness, where the battery has been reduced to reduce the thickness of the smartphone. Though I think it would have been wiser to make a thicker phone with a better battery, but well, now it has a camera hump on back. You will also have the Moto Mode support. That's nothing, just expensive mods. I don't really see why someone would tie themselves to an expensive Moto Mod rather than say if you want a speaker why won't you just go out and buy a Bluetooth speaker that is compatible with all the Android or iOS devices why would you lock onto your device like it can only be used with the Moto Z series and still costs as much as a Bluetooth speaker so that's the this video what are your opinion on the Moto Z to play let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.